very good at what I do. If you know anything about me, you'd know that I have a reputation for solving problems, not hiding them. How did you know? I told you I'm not like every other secretary. I'm Donna. I'm Donna. I know everything. But today we're going to be talking about Donna Paulson. And unfortunately, for some reason, Donna Paulson is getting so much hate. To be honest, I'm not shocked about this. But before I get into that, a little bit about why she's Donna and she's awesome. I'm sorry I don't have a photographic memory, but my brain is already too busy being awesome. Donna worked as Harvey's secretary for 12 years. She knew everyone better than they knew themselves. She was witty, she was funny, she was the glue that bound everyone together at Pierce Inspector. She was Mike's advisor, Rachel's confidant, and literally Harvey's everything. She was one of those few women who stood up to Jessica and wasn't scared of anyone, except maybe this guy. By breaking the law and then rewarding the people that do. That's a lie. Well, then how did you get your promotion? Because there's only two ways I can think of when you're not qualified and they're both pretty distasteful. Now, Donna Paulson was played by Sarah Graffetti. She had flaws like every other character in the show. And she made some mistakes. For some reason, people choose to zero in on some people's mistakes more than others. And we're going to talk about some of the reasons that Donna is getting bad press. Disclaimer, this isn't about the real people, obviously. This is just about the character that Suits tried to portray. Now, the first reason that I think Donna is getting a lot of hate is because Donna's ego was a little, scratch that, it was massively inflated. You can see by that look on your face you're wondering who I am after all. Let me save you the trouble. I'm Donna and I'm awesome. Who says I'm Donna and I'm awesome? <laughs> like that's something you would expect people to tell you and if you have to say it to yourself then there's an element of arrogance I guess that people read into Donna. Also in the words of Rachel Zane. You know nobody likes? Nobody likes to show off. Really, Donna could read people and she was right about a lot of things. But I think people were just upset because she was unrealistically almost never wrong. At some point in season 6, Donna demanded to be made senior partner. I mean, people thought that this was absolutely ridiculous. I felt the same way. <laughs> like, girl, we know Delulu is the new Solulu. But going from being secretary to partner, that was stretching it. First of all, you're not a lawyer. I don't know how she thought she deserved to be partner, but I absolutely don't think she deserved to be partner. She deserved to be more than a secretary for sure for all the effort she had put in the frame. But partner, come on. I also love the part where she told Gretchen that she wanted to make partner and Gretchen just assumed that she had put in a buying check already. I thought that was funny. Donna was good at her job, but that didn't make her entitled to being partner. And you know what I think? I think she was tired of her success being tied to Harvey because Harvey was obviously super successful. And I think what made it worse was when she tried to get her product in the market and was trying to talk to those investors and they pretty much said they didn't see themselves in investing in an ordinary secretary. As good as this product is, I'm telling you as one business person to another, you have no credibility to do this. I understand why she wanted more. Should she have been COO? I think that's debatable. But let's not also forget that Donna knew how to get things done and manage people. Although she shredded evidence and pretended to be a fed, which could land you in jail. It doesn't matter because I'm going to get you out of it. Harvey, what's the punishment? Three to five years. So it shows that she was not exactly like qualified for those positions or able to really handle the complexity that came with those positions. And some people feel that there's a double standard, obviously. Mike Ross was a fraud <laughs> who did not go to law school, but somehow was able to pose and act like a lawyer and break laws. But a legal secretary who has not committed a crime that is that bad is trying to become COO and everybody's like wanting to chop her head off, make it make sense. But what do you guys think? Do you think that this is a double standard or not? I want to know in the comments. Now another reason that I believe that Donna is getting hate is because some people think that she only contributed to the firm by helping Harvey emotionally. She would do things like calm him down when he's stressed, offer advice to him and give him clarity, but I personally don't think that was all she contributed. Let's face it, Donna had more connections than an average secretary would have. She was able to do things like move court dates around and get Harvey access to sensitive documents and get favors from judges and clerks. I don't think Harvey would have kept her if she wasn't so good at her job. Now, many people thought Donna was self-righteous and she was always lecturing Rachel and Mike and Harvey about their relationships while not exactly paying 
paying attention to her issues. She was always posing as a wise, wise advisor and not really taking her own advice. Donna would talk to Harvey about his emotional baggage causing problems in his relationship, but she did not confront dealing with the complex situation she was in with Harvey. She had worked with him for 12 years. She obviously was in love with him. She did not try to really face that situation. She kept working with him and having those feelings for him and didn't really have a serious relationship herself. Like, come on, Donna, take your own advice. So it just goes to show that she didn't also want to face some of the complex situations that she was stuck in, obviously. Donna put herself in the middle of Harvey's relationship with Scotty. She convinced him not to tell Scotty about Mike's secret. He eventually did. Scotty didn't do anything apart from get upset, which is, which is obviously an expected reaction. She also puts herself in the middle of Harvey and Paula's relationship by kissing him knowing that he had issues with infidelity you know his mom's infidelity issues and she basically was the reason they broke up and you know i personally think donna's character was fun at the beginning but if there's one thing i don't like in movies or in tv shows whatever it is when a character is always right and is a know-it-all and this was probably the reason i stopped watching blacklist after maybe the fourth episode I think this is what donna's character started to become and it wasn't exactly relatable and enjoyable anymore now i really want to know what you guys think do you think donna deserves to be ceo yeah i want you to let me know in the comments thank you for watching this video i hope you enjoyed it and i will see you in the next one bye